Hey, welcome to Follows with Ray. I'm Rachel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some May releases from Wildflower Lacquer. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing Wildflower Lacquer reviewed here on my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click that button. I upload new live swatching videos every week. Wildflower Lacquer's next release is going to fall at the end of May on May 23rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to include quite a few different polishes. We have the Tossing Coins collection, which is a four-piece collection inspired by a previous Wildflower PPU shade called Geralt Can Have All My Coins. <laughs> In addition to that quad will be available the next installment of the Polished Flicks series. This one, Taylor was inspired by Clueless and created I'm Totally Buggin'. <laughs> If you're not familiar with Taylor's Polish Flick series, she started it a few months ago, basically in the Wow for Wildflower Lacquer Facebook group, which I will link down in the description box. Taylor posts a poll each month to see what movie her customers would like to see polishes inspired by. People vote, she chooses an inspiration, and then creates a limited edition polish that will be available that next month. And then there will be one more release on May 23rd. Taylor created Mr. Wildflower, inspired by her partner in business and in life, Curry. It's inspired by his favorite color, blue, and it's perfectly timed because their anniversary is in May. So, happy anniversary! All the polishes I'm sharing with you today will be available as an uncapped pre-order, meaning that as long as you shop during that window, they're available, which I'll leave down in the description box. You shouldn't have to worry about things selling out, and you can buy as much as you want. All right, all together we have six gorgeous shades to look at today, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. We're going to take a look at the Tossing Coins Witcher collection first, beginning with Do Witchers Retire? This one's described as being a deep cherry red base with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. This one is inspired by Yaskye. So spoiler, all of these have a beyond incredible formula. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> they are pretty much one coders, but I did build them to two coats just to get that base color as deep and rich as it was in the bottle. On the description, it calls this a deep cherry red base. And I would say it's definitely a red that leans orange. Part of that could be the orange to gold to green shifting shimmer in there, kind of giving it um, a more orangey lean. So here is what Do, Do Witcher's Retire looks like in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one definitely has staining potential, but I did not get any staining from it, fortunately. And here is what it looks like outdoors in the sunlight. Oh my goodness, these were amazing in some sunlight. I mean, the shimmer just glowed in that base. I'm going to tell you my favorites at the end of the video, but this was definitely one of them. Pictured our two coats of Do Witcher's Retire with a glossy top coat. The next one in this collection is called Faith's A Simple Medicine for Desperate Souls. It's described as being a purple base with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. And this one is inspired by Yennefer. I mean, if you've watched The Witcher, you totally, totally called that. This is the perfect Yennefer purple. Um, I will mention that the descriptions for all four of these are going to be very similar because they all have the same sibling shifting shimmer to Geralt can have all my coins. This one was another very impressive formula. I got full opacity in two coats, and honestly, I can't see anyone needing more than two coats with any of these Tossing Coins polishes. They are perfection in two. I will say that all of them dry down to kind of a flat finish, so unless you like that matte look, you're going to want to add a glossy top coat. So here's two coats, so beautiful. I found that the hollow really popped in this darker base. So here's what two coats of Faith's A Simple Medicine for Desperate Souls looks like in my studio lighting with the glossy top coat. Again, that hollow just sparkles in that dark base. And most of the shimmer in most lightings we see is the gold to orange, but at extreme angles, you can also see the green shift. And here's what it looks like in the sunlight. I mean, it is like a purple holographic polish on fire. It's so incredibly holographic. And here you can appreciate some of that beautiful shift in the shimmer. Stunning. Pictured are two coats of Faith's A Simple Medicine for Desperate Souls with a glossy top coat. 
Up next, we have Indifferent to the Past. This one's described as being a teal base with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. It's inspired by Siri. This one had, no surprise, a stunning formula. Fully opaque in two coats. However, I will say of the ones we've looked at so far, I do feel like this one is slightly more sheer. I feel like everyone needs those two coats for this one if they don't want any visible nail line. And wow. Wow, does that gold shimmer ever pop against that teal base? It's magnificent. <laughs> so here are two coats of Indifferent to the Past with a glossy top coat in my studio lighting. We see a lot of the gold to green shift in this one. And just wait till you see that holographic in the sunlight. Hold on, let me pick my jaw up off the floor. <laughs> like seriously, is this not the perfect shade for summertime? It's complete mermaid vibe, so shifty, so bright, all of that hollow. I love this one too. Pictured our two coats of Indifferent to the Past with a glossy top coat. And the final polish in this collection is called Fear is an Illness. It's described as being a smoky gray base with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and scattered hollow. This one is, of course, inspired by Geralt. By the way, each of these polishes in this quad individually will retail for $13, or you can purchase the entire collection for $50. Application-wise, this one had the same beautiful formula as the others. It was smooth, even, and went on very easily. I will say that in terms of opacity, this was the sheerest out of the three. I did require three coats to reach full opacity. If you've got less visible nail line than I do or shorter nails, you might be okay in two, but personally, I did need three. That being said, because it was just the slightest bit more sheer, I felt like this one had the most color shift in that shimmer out of this entire collection. It was really easy to get all three of those colors to show the orange, the gold, the green. Here's what that looks like. Three coats, glossy top coat. The proof is in the pudding. There's the gold, there's the green, there's the orange. And oh, man, that paired with the gray base made this one so beautiful. And here's what it looks like in the sunlight. Yeah, it's a winner. Um, this is not a polish that I am usually like excited to wear this time of year. It feels very wintry or fall-like to me, but I was still so excited to wear it because the shifts, the hollow, all stunning. Pictured our three coats of Fear is an Illness with a glossy top coat. The next polish in the Polished Flix series is I'm Totally Buggin', inspired by the movie Clueless. It's described as being a light bubblegum pink with copper to gold to green, shifting shimmer, and scattered hollow flakes. So maybe it actually has the same shifting shimmer as the... No, it doesn't. I was going to say, is this the same shifting shimmer as the Tossing Coins collection? No, it's not, because that is orange, and this is copper. Compared to the others we've looked at today, this one's very different. It's less saturated. It has more of a jelly-like feel, but it still builds up to beautiful opacity in three coats. I had no visible nail line after three, and I think most people would be good in three. Maybe even some would be good in two. I could detect just a little bit of visible nail line, but it really wasn't too bad. So here is what three coats of I'm Totally Buggin' looks like with a glossy top coat. And at my direct studio lighting, we're getting a lot of the gold and copper shifts in the shimmer. And here is what it looks like in sunlight. Wow. Wow. The hollow flakes in here, I almost thought they might be hollow glitters and I just misread the description because they are so intensely holographic. Like truly, you get rainbows. Beautiful. Pictured are three coats of I'm Totally Buggin' with a glossy top coat. And the final polish I have to share with you is Mr. Wildflower. It's a deep turquoise base with blue to black and blue shifting pigment and scattered hollow. This one and really all of this month's releases, but this one especially, is limited edition. It's not expected to come back. So if you like it, if you like any of these, make sure you grab them during the shopping window so you don't have FOMO. 
This one had perfect application. I'm surprised there's not drool all over my nails from when I was swatching this because that's how I felt. Um, yeah, the glow is absolutely just mind boggling in this polish. The hollow contrasts so beautifully against that blackened base. This is going on my top picks of 2022 list. It is up there with slug bug. I love it that much. Two coats to full opacity. I think two coats is going to be great for everyone. And I just don't have anything with this level of blue glowy goodness. It is everything. And here is what it looks like out in the sunlight. The intense richness of the base color, the hollow, the glow from the shimmer. I have nothing that compares to this. It is outstanding. I did not experience any staining with any of the polishes I shared with you today. However, all have potential to stain. So definitely pair with a base coat. So here are two coats of the glorious Mr. Wildflower with a glossy top coat and a million photos because I can't get enough. <laughs> So those are all the polishes that are releasing on the Wildflower Lacquer site on May 23rd. Let me know down in the comments all of your thoughts. Are you grabbing everything? Are you into the polish flicks? Are you loving Mr. Wildflower? I want to hear it all. Final thoughts, in case you couldn't figure it out, I absolutely love all of this month's releases. I love the idea of a four-piece collection. I think having between four and six polishes is just perfect when it comes to releases. And to no one's surprise, I think all of these polishes are done so beautifully and you would love each and every one of them. But in case you can only grab a few, here were my top picks. So since the formula for all of them were fantastic, I kind of just get to pick my favorite colors. One of my favorite shades from this release was Do Witchers Retire <laughs> um, from the Tossing Coins collection. I absolutely love like burnt, ruddy oranges on me. The shimmer in here was gorgeous. The hollow was fabulous. I did not want to take this off. I also really, really loved Indifferent to the Past. Oh my goodness, this is such a mermaidy summer fall shade. I felt like it elongated my nails. I couldn't stop staring at them when I had it on. Another one I just think everyone would love. But my absolute top pick from everything I shared with you today, you probably already guessed it, Mr. Wildflower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is perfection. Um, I, it, well, it's definitely going on my list of top polishes from 2022. I'm questioning as to whether it's maybe my very favorite polish I've put on my nails this year from any brand, from any release. And I know that's saying a lot, but seriously, until you get this on your nails, I don't know if you've really felt love. <laughs> you need this, okay? You need it. Again, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you think. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!